Welcome back to the Intern Corner. Uh, special edition, it's Jersey Rankin Time Part 2, baby. Uh, today we're gonna go through jerseys number 14 through number 1. Uh, this is gonna be <laughs> a rip-roaring good time, so uh, <laughs> buckle up. Alright, so number 14, uh, we got the Portland Trail Blazers Oregon Origins jersey. These are fine. I think it's kind of neat. They have like the mountain outline on the side in those colors. It's just like something about them is not that aesthetically pleasing. I feel like not that the colors clash, but they don't, you know, because I don't know anything about that, but it's just like they don't seem right. I, it, and the kind of like almost maroony brown that the base of the jersey is, is just a little like odd with the rest of it. I don't know. These jerseys are fine. I, I think they're pretty good and it's a neat like call to the state's topography I guess if you're really into maps. Shout out my map makers but yeah I think these jerseys are all right. Uh, so good job Portland. Number 13 we got Sacramento Kings the sec town jerseys. I think these are pretty slick. I love I love the colors on these so they got they got a really great blue in there with like a black base for the whole jersey and then like red trimming around all the font and the and the sides of the jersey too. Um, I think they look really clean, nothing spectacular, but they're really solid jerseys, really clean. And um, I bet that De'Aaron Fox will look cool as hell running real fast because he's a speedy guy. Um, so good job, Sacramento. Next, we got the Dallas Mavericks coming in at 12 with their white and gold trim jerseys. These are, I believe that they're, if not intentionally, like I think that they are a reference to Luca's jerseys from when he was like younger playing in Europe. If that's not the case, whatever, but if it is, it's fitting and they look good. They're good jerseys. They're really nice. Again, they're a little bit bland because there's not like a whole lot going on, but the gold and the white is a tried and true combo. It looks great and it's gonna be really fun uh, watching Luca train game winners over Paul George in these jerseys, and that's something I think we can all look forward to. So, we go Dallas. Shout, shout, shout outs to you guys. How, how Luca? <laughs> all right, at number eleven, we got the Philadelphia 76ers. These jerseys are cool. Um, and see, I need, I know I keep like digging into people for their jerseys being a little bland and like not quite enough, but in this case. I do wonder if it's like a little too much, just a little too much. But the, the numbers with the blue shadow looks really clean on the black background. The red and the blue looks great. Philadelphia, like we get hit history, tight, bells, uh, ding ding. And yeah, they just, they look good. They're, they're, they're nice. They're, they're good jerseys and they went for it. Can't fault them for that, they went for it. Number 10, we got Toronto, roam the north, that's the tagline. These Toronto jerseys look really good. The black and gold is like, there's something about that that is just, it's just, be it's just better than the white and gold. It just, it just is. Sorry, Dallas, I love, I love you, but sorry, it's not, the, these are these are tight. I think that we actually might be underrating these a bit. Um, the font is really cool. The black and gold just like looks awesome, which we know from like, kind of reminiscent of like the Lakers, like Kobe jerseys look cool. Like, um, they're really, I, I really like these. You know, they don't like totally scream like Raptors to me. And we you know like the Raptors are really good at quite like garish, goofy jerseys that, that we all like kind of love now, even though I believe they were like sort of trash in the nineties, but I like these, I like these a lot. I think they're good. I think Kyle Lowry will fill his out nicely. Number nine. We got the Charlotte Hornets, their Buzz City jerseys. These are also, I think, a bit underrated on our list. I can't remember who tanked them in the aggregate, and they uh, they should apologize. They just look nice. The stripes are good. They're not gratuitous. The teal blue that they have is really, really pretty. Uh, looks really good. And that sort of like goldish and, uh, and then black trim that they got on the collar and sleeves. Uh, it looks it looks really good. I think these jerseys are really nice. You know, maybe the Hornets can sell some merch this year. I'm sure they're gonna sell out of the Lamella ones, and I'm sure we'll be able to get the Gordon Hayward ones on sale. Good job, Charlotte. Don't really hear that a lot, I'm sure. And this next one, number eight, we're gonna toss it over to our co-host Kevin to talk a little bit about this jersey and his thoughts about it. So, uh, why don't you take it away, Kev? 
you know, Utah, you have one of the most mediocre basketball teams, like right middle of the pack playoffs like we always talk about, but I gotta give it to you on your jerseys. I'm slightly impressed. Uh, not too impressed, you're still middle of the top, so good for you, but uh, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, Six out of ten. Really good stuff there, Kevin. Very insightful, very good. I uh, couldn't agree more. Tight. So, on to number seven. Number seven, we have the Golden State Warriors Oakland jerseys. They're just cool. They're kind of like throwbacky, I believe. A little reminiscent of like something Steph wore earlier in his career. They just look good. They're really fun. Um, they're really eye-catching without being like very garish. The way that that like orangish red trim turns into like yellow on the sides and you get like that really impactful yellow with the orange trim around it for the, for the word Oakland and the number. It's just cool. It's a really cool jersey. It makes it feel a little nicer, I guess, that they have this to look forward to in a year that will likely be, uh, to some degree, a little disappointing. We got Warriors. You made it. Top 10. Hope that happens for you in the real standings this year. All right, number six, definitely coming in a little lower than I would have liked. And the fun thing about this is that I get to say pretty much any jersey came in a little lower than I would like, uh, because you don't know what I voted and you don't know what anyone else voted. So I get to be the good guy. Uh, and these should have been higher. These are really cool. I love the design they have on the side is so cool. Um, the lettering looks great. The numbers look great. Yeah, that, that like kind of bluish design that they have going along there and like along the side is just really, really cool. These jerseys really pop. I think they really like knocked it out of the park. I think these are really awesome jerseys. Number five, I'm actually glad these ranked this high. I was a little on the fence about these, these Bulls City jerseys when I first saw them and now I'm like 100% on board. I think these are dope. I love the kind of like goldish lettering with the red shadow, uh, red drop shadows underneath. I think that looks really cool and classic, and I love the gold trim and the gold trim on the side. It's very like, very like I don't know, like Gatsby, like uh, like Leo DiCaprio and Gatsby. So it just feels very like classic and kind of ornate, and uh, and it's a cool city, and it's got cool jerseys, and that's the nice thing about being a Bulls fan is that you just get great jerseys like all the time. They just have incredible, incredible jerseys, a, a beautiful selection, iconic. Uh, the Bulls rule at this. I think these are great. Go Bulls. All right, for this next one, we're gonna toss it over to the co-host, uh, Sam. Sam's gonna tell you a little bit about this jersey, uh, which I particularly will say up front, am a really big fan of. So, uh, hit it, Sam. <laughs> Yo, what is good, everyone? It's your boy, Sam and himself. As you can tell, uh, I'm currently not in my apartment, in a hotel room, and that's because I am quarantining for a little bit in my hometown of San Antonio. And what better team to talk about is the San Antonio Spurs jerseys, am I right? Those jerseys are fire. We've been asking for this for so many years and look, I'm gonna get like three of them, let's be real. I'm probably gonna get by the whole team, let's be real, all right? So it's clear that the Spurs jerseys are the best jerseys here. Let's, 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 let's end it here. Exactly, um, or not, again. Do not know. But I will say just briefly, I really like these San Antonio jerseys. I'm glad they're this high. I think they're really cool. Okay, and again, I'm gonna hand off these duties because I'm wearing out towards the end. Uh, I'm gonna send this one to co-host Matt. Uh, so Matt, why don't you break down our entry here at number three. These Denver jerseys. Oh, so, so, so good. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Denver jerseys. I especially really like the one that they had two years ago with the Pride uh, colors. They looked fantastic. This sunset one is awesome. I'm a big fan of it. Um, fuck yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, great work, Matt. Loved it. Uh, these are cool jerseys, the sunset kind of theme. I think I like the other ones more from like earlier in this kind of series of jerseys that they did. Number two, uh, one and two were like the most unanimous almost for any of the jerseys other than like Cleveland. So number two is the Sun City jersey, their Valley City jerseys. These are just really cool. They're like very modern and very, you know, like I just like love the kind of like skyline image we have. That's like that like shadow kind of silhouette that we have there with like the big, I imagine like sunrise or sunset kind of theme going across and 
The purple and black is really cool. It all just like really pops and they they really went for it. I think these are awesome jerseys. In maybe another year they could be number one though. I don't know because number one has kind of been a stranglehold for me for quite a while now. And as you may have guessed, it's the Miami Heat, the vice versa edition of their city jerseys. The final, I believe, entry into the Miami Vice jersey series. They're great, they're great. My, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, look, Miami, they just, they, Miami makes great jerseys, they do. I'm sorry, they do, they're great, they're beautiful. I, and even these are not my favorite in this series, but they're just still, they're just perfect. I, like Miami found a theme that perfectly captures that idea, the ethereal idea of Miami, and they perfectly executed in, in this jersey series. I love these vice versa jerseys, I think they're great. My favorite, I think, were like kind of more so the black ones, like the black and pink. Wait, you know what, I'm gonna pop up an image right here that shows all of them, and my favorite is, um, it's, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be there, so, um, but way to go, Miami. Love these jerseys. Everyone loves your jerseys. Some people might be getting a little tired of them. I think they're great. Go work, baby. Okay, so yeah, thank you. Uh, this is the end of our Intern Corner Special Edition City Jersey Ranking videos. Uh, if you wanna, if you missed the first one, it's on the channel. You can always check out the Intern Corner playlist where all of these fucking stupid videos that I make exist. And these were a lot of fun to do. We had a lot of fun with the rankings and kind of seeing where we differed. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> Cause <laughs> we do it for the people, baby. We do it for you. Uh, and and I know, uh, I know I had a good time. So I hope you did too. And I hope that you'll, uh, I hope that you will like this video. I hope that you will subscribe to our channel. I hope that you will listen to our podcast. I hope you will tip tap on our Instagram posts. Be there for us. So, you know, like we would be for you. So thank you for watching. If you have any different opinions, <laughs> pop them down in the comments section, baby. We want to hear from you. Uh, so <laughs> I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, thank you. This has been the special edition of the Intern Corner. See ya.